So first you need to start off, get all your surgical equipment, same thing, gauze, scalpels, get some Lido, make sure you use it with Epi, so that way you get um, decreased blood flow to the area, um, and then surgical gear, betadine, and gauze. So let's get started. Okay, go in a circular motion. <clears throat> then you grab the lidocaine with Epi. Like I said, what I normally like to do is put a little bit of gauze over it, so that way when we're injecting, it doesn't pop back over on you. It's gonna be a little bit of poke or a burn, okay? Okay. All right. A little poke, a little burn. You okay? Yep. I'm feeling a little burn though. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I didn't feel. Okay. Mm. I mean, you can see some of the blanching from the epinephrine right through here. Does it feel a little numb? Uh, not really. Not really? Okay, we'll give you a little bit more numbing medicine until you okay. don't feel it no more. Numb the patient up again. It's pretty large abscess as you can see. Um, probably about four centimeters by four centimeters. Some lidocaine with epinephrine. Go ahead and just inject through the gauze so that way it doesn't come back over you. And then just inject straight into it. You okay? Yes, I am. All right, you feel a little bit of pressure in here, okay? It's already starting to drain out pretty well, actually. Okay. Okay. So, are you feeling any numbness when I press through here? Uh, yes, now I do. It's numb? Yep. Good, okay. So you feel a little bit of a little poke Put a little cut right down the middle of it, okay? At the area most fluctuates. Right through there. Okay. And grab our gauze. And then just pop all the infection out of it. You okay? Yes, I am. Excellent. You expressed quite a bit of the infection. You want to come back after that. Get some forceps. Try to get the caps low. Go in there. And this looks more like almost like an infected um, <clears throat> cyst more than anything, but it had quite a bit of pus in there. And it was infected fat cells. Okay. With the rest of it. You okay? Yes, I am. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we got a lot of this infected tissue out of it, okay? We we'll put a little bit of gauze dressing in there. So that way the wound closes up and we get you some antibiotics. And we'll go from there. <clears throat> so you can tell it's very flat now. Got quite a bit of the pus out of there. I'm going to put the packing in there. Um, this is a very large infected, looks almost like infected lipoma. Go ahead and pack it in there. I might get even like a foot or maybe a foot and a half of packing in here. Um, then like I said, there's nothing sterile about this procedure, but you want to make sure you do are wearing some sterile gloves, put the patient on some pain medicine, some antibiotics, and then follow up in one to two days and <clears throat> we'll go from there. Okay.